The direction of motion of a motor vehicle is controlled by a steering system. A basic steering system has three main parts. A steering box connected to the steering wheel. The linkage connecting the steering box to the wheel assemblies at the front wheels. And front suspension parts to let the wheel assemblies pivot. When the driver turns the steering wheel, a shaft from the steering column turns a steering gear. The steering gear moves tie rods that connect to the front wheels. The tie rods move the front wheels to turn the vehicle right or left. There are two basic types of steering boxes. Those with rack and pinion gearing and those with worm gearing. In both cases, the gearing in the steering box makes it easier for the driver to turn the steering wheel and hence the wheels. A rack and pinion steering system has a steering wheel, a main shaft, universal joints, and an intermediate shaft. When the steering is turned, movement is transferred by the shafts to the pinion. The pinion is meshed with the teeth of the rack, so pinion rotation moves the rack from side to side. This type of steering is used on passenger vehicles because it is light and direct. This steering system has worm gearing. It provides a gear reduction and a 90 degree change in direction. It has more parts and joints than the rack type but it is more robust and may be used on heavier vehicles. To allow heavy transport vehicles to carry extra weight, two steering axles may be used. They're connected by a link to a common steering box. These vehicles are called tandem or twin steered vehicles. Some passenger vehicles also steer the rear wheels slightly. This gives improved maneuverability. The system is known as four-wheel steering. It can be controlled mechanically through a direct connection between the front and rear steering boxes. Or it can be computer controlled. With heavier vehicles, increased use of front-wheel drive, and wider low-profile tires, more steering effort is needed, so power steering is used. An engine-driven hydraulic pump provides pressure that helps the driver steer the vehicle. The power steering system is designed so that the vehicle can still be controlled even if the engine or the power steering system fails.